Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a review on, can you guess, <laughs> the ColourPop Cosmetics Cream Blushes. So I have six of these and so far I've only worn these three for about the past week or so. Uh, but I have a pretty good idea of how these work and everything like that and let me tell you, I'm loving them already. So, I guess we'll just go ahead and I'll go over it a little bit. So, these are relatively new, maybe like a month. I don't really remember. And these are $8 each, which is just a little bit more than their, their usual price of $5 for like shadows and lipsticks and everything like that. So, they're a little bit more expensive, but they are larger than their shadows and everything like that. So I'll just go ahead and show you all the product and everything like that. So for this collection they have two different finishes. You have satin and matte so far. I don't know if they'll be real I don't know if they'll be releasing more finishes or not, but I don't know how many more you can get for blushes, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so I got six of these. So I think there are about 20 different blushes and I only found, I found six of them that I really really liked because I don't need more blushes. <laughs> but I probably shouldn't have bought these anyways, but they're amazing. So of these, um, out of all of them, I got four matte blushes and then two satin ones. So I'm just going to go over it really quick. This is how the packaging looks like. It's very similar to the eyeshadow packaging, which instead of pink, it is blue. So the pink one's blush, you know. And then it has a sticker with the name of the blush plus the finish of it. So this is between the sheets and this is a matte. So it looks like this, it pretty much looks the same as the regular eyeshadows. It's just a little bit larger and unfortunately I don't have any of the eyeshadows with me right now. But it is just a little larger. And on the back you have the name of the product and you know, everything like that. So the whole shebang. And just like the, just like the eyeshadows, the cap is deeper so that way the product doesn't dry out. What I like to do is I like to store these upside down so that way all the moisture or like whatever is in there, it rises up and uh, keeps this nice and moisturized. So the consistency of these, it's very similar to the eyeshadows except I feel like they're a bit more powdery and less wet but they are extremely blendable like I and you don't need much at all a little goes a really really long way I'll probably like do like this once or like just just swipe it like one or two times and then I'll do I'll put it on and then I'll blend it and it's it's perfect you don't need much at all and then it blends extremely well I don't powder these because they don't need to be powdered. You can apply these on top of powder. I tend to, for some reason lately, I've been powdering my face first and then I've been applying this blush. Or I haven't been powder. Well, yeah. Years, lately, I've been powdering my face first and then applying this blush and then applying my highlighter. And I think that's because I haven't been really wearing foundation lately and just uh, sunscreen and con concealer and powder so that way I can set my concealer. And then I just pop this on top and it stays on all day. It blends super well and is super pigmented. So on the days that I wore only sunscreen, of, of course I didn't wear any primer or anything. So I was really able to test out this product and it lasts all day. Like it is amazing. Really, really love it. And I highly recommend these. It's only $8 plus if you spend $30 on their website, then you get free shipping. So, you know, it's a win-win situation. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I guess bottom line, quickly, it is long-lasting. It's really, really blendable. They're so pigmented. And they're so easy to blend. I just love all of them. All of the ones that I've tried. And I'm quite sure that I'm going to love all of the ones I haven't even tried yet. So, yeah. <laughs> 
So I guess I'll just go ahead and swatch the ones that I do have. And since I already have this one out, why not? <laughs> so this is Between the Sheets. It is a matte finish. And it looks like that. I've already used it. Okay. So that's how that swatches. Next up is Quarters, which is the satin finish blush. Oh, oh my gosh. It's... The product stuck to the cap. Okay. So this is how it looks like, just in case it falls. <laughs> and these are really great. They can double up as eyeshadows as well. And maybe even, I feel like they're creamy enough to where you can use them maybe as kind of like a lip tint as well. Okay, so that is quarters. And that's super bold compared to um, between the sheets. Between the sheets is a really, really pretty natural looking blush. It is so gorgeous. Quarters is a bit more bold. Uh, you can definitely use less of it, and they're just they're just so pretty, so pretty. Next up is Bonus, which is a matte finish, and it is what I am wearing today. <laughs> this is how it looks like. It's a really really pretty coral. It's kind of peachy, and it is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh! So this is Bonus. So pretty, so pretty, pretty. So let's recap. This is between the sheets, quarters, and bonus. Okay, now for the three I haven't tried yet. So this is Cheerio. It's a satin finish, and this is kind of like a plummy purple blush. I have yet to open it, but it looks gorgeous. Purple looks great on every skin tone and purple is especially great if you have more yellow undertones because it helps to brighten up your complexion. So a lot of times some people they'll use like a they'll use purple primers or purple foundations if they have yellow undertones because it really helps to liven up your face. So this is Cheerios. Ooh, look at that. It's really pretty, kind of plummy, has a mauvey type feel to it. So if you're feeling a bit warmer or kind of, uh, yeah, if you're feeling a bit warmer, I think this would be really, really great. Next up is the Blush and Homey, and this is a matte finish. And this is really, it's kind of like a magenta. Well, I think it's a bit more purple. So this is how it looks like. It looks kind of fuchsia-y. Ooh, this one looks gorgeous. Definitely gonna try and use this for like shadows or something. I don't know. I don't really look too good with purple shadows though. Okay, so this is how it looks. Okay. Ta da! Oh, looks so pretty. And these are really, really buildable. And I feel like it's better if they come off a bit more sheer than if they do more pigmented because at least if it's sheer, you can build it to the intensity you want. But if it's highly pigmented already, it's really hard to kind of dial it down. And you don't want to have to, you know, powder over it to make it look less pigmented. Yeah. So look at it. Pretty. Oh. And this last one is Clutch, which is a matte finish blush. So this is how it looks like. This really, uh, I want to say, it kind of reminds me of a hot pink lemonade. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know. But it reminds me of a hot pink lemonade. So. That's really pretty. That is really gorgeous. really pretty okay so that is all for my swatches and my review on these I feel like it's pretty straightforward I I 
I don't know what more there is to say about ColourPop. I mean, they're very well known already. They started shipping to Canada, I know that, and I believe they're expanding worldwide soon. I, you could probably get better news from their Instagram or something than from me. <laughs> but these are amazing blushes. They're the best cream blushes that I have tried. And, I mean, I haven't tried very many because I don't really like cream blushes, but these are great. They are amazing, and I love them. <laughs> but, yeah, these are... <sighs> There's not much more I can say about them. They're long-lasting, they're blendable, you know, they're cruelty-free, and everything like that. These <sighs> such great products. I really applaud them. Let's... Yes. <laughs> Okay, so that's all for my review and swatches. Please let me know by giving me a thumbs up if you found this helpful or useful in any kind of way. Comment below if you have any questions or thoughts that you'd like to share. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all next time. Bye.